Leonardo AI has recently added Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 to its image generator. To check it out, log into Leonardo AI, head down to AI Image Generation. Now keep in mind, Alchemy will have to be switched off for this particular uh, format to work, but the way it works, I go up to my fine tuned model here and I can select SD XL 0.9. And you can actually then just start prompting as you normally would. So let's say we have a prompt such as a cyborg dog flying through space with rockets, something pretty basic, but also imaginative. And let's generate and see what kind of results we get. So this is what we've ended up with. It's, uh, it's pretty basic, but uh, we can also take this a few steps further. Under here, under Leonardo style, I can choose to turn that off completely. This time I'll give myself two images and we'll try that again to see what happens when we turn off the Leonardo style with the Stable Diffusion XL 0.9. And by switching it off, I believe we've actually got some more interesting images. This image here looks a little bit better. This image here is pretty cool. But we've also got a few other options we can play around with. We can try Prompt Magic. I'm gonna turn off High Contrast, Generate. And check out this. It looks like a real dog with some sort of cyborg appendages added and a pretty overall a pretty decent look. But can we use Prompt Magic version three? It can only be used with Alchemy. But what if we change this to Alchemy to see what Alchemy produces with the exact same prompt? And again, I know this is a pretty basic prompt, but uh, it's always good to see what we can do without adding a ton of control. So let's turn on Alchemy version three and switch to Dream Shaper. So it really depends, but let's just go to Stable Diffusion 2.1 since that is the closest model to Stable Diffusion XL and hit generate. As you can see, we get something very different again, a little bit more realism. A little less of a pleasing layout, but the detail seems to be a little bit better. I tried the same by switching over to Dream Shaper as well, and we get yet another sort of tailored look. And overall, I think using, so at the moment, Dream Shaper with Alchemy turned on, I think has got the best mix of all those results, but we've only tried one subject, which is a dog in space. But uh, what we want to do is try a few other things. Now, to keep in Keep in mind, if you are using Leonardo AI, be very aware of what your options are over here. These are the number of images you can produce. You can see I've got two here. If I really need to, I can crank that up to eight. If I've got a bigger selection, I can play with turning off prompt magic. So this is something that will actually enhance an image and I can then choose the strength. There's also raw mode. I can turn that off. And that way Leonardo AI will guide the image a bit more. Alchemy, another way of enhancing the image and the two options here will help sort of um, tell you, helps dictate how much details in the image, the contrast of the image. And of course you can choose the original generation size. So you can choose what size these images will generate at to begin with. So you can get, see they got up to a pretty decent resolution. Guidance scale, I tend, if you're not sure about guidance scale, just leave it as it is, but essentially it will change sort of how your prompt guides the generator and going up can improve or make things worse. Going too low can definitely make things look a bit funny. Uh, you can also set up a tiling and add an image, but we're not gonna go into that right now. But let's try something completely different using these settings and compare them to the different models. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight back to the start. I'm gonna turn off Alchemy, go to Stable Diffusion XL 0.9. We're gonna compare this model against Alchemy and we're gonna compare Prompt Magic as well on a few different subjects. So again, I've got something here, a woman's face, intense stare, blue eyes, black hair, cinematic lighting. So we've got a little bit more of a description and working with faces is a great way to really test out how well the AI has been trained because as people, faces, we can pick apart very easily. So I'm gonna go through and uh, sort of showcase what I've been able to use with different settings. So this is Stable Diffusion XL, Leonardo style. So Stable Diffusion XL, Leonardo style has produced this image which I think is very stunning. Also this more artistic looking one, less of a photo and more of a painting. But when we switch over to, to turning off the Leonardo style, so we just use Stable Diffusion XL by itself, I feel that these images are much more striking. You got the same realism, that same really neat look to it all. But uh, overall, I think that the Leonardo style still needs a bit of work, but both are still incredibly good. And depending on what you're after, you may get different results. But let's try turning on prompt magic. So this is using Prompt Magic version two on Stable Diffusion XL without the Leonardo fine tune model. And it has definitely enhanced and really brought those eyes out. And it's created quite an image where it really grabs your attention. Same again on this second image, some of the blur and focus off to the side. It definitely has turned out really striking. I think overall, this is a really, really great image. But what if we compare it again to Stable Diffusion 2.1 with Alchemy turned on? 
Well, while this image looks okay at first glance, the layout is a little bit warped. When I go to the next one, it looks much better. So Alchemy has produced kind of a different style of image in a slightly way. It's, it's got the same layout and the same look, but it has more of a cooler sort of color grade to it. But overall, uh, not really a huge difference. But when we switch to Prompt Magic version three, this is a different kind of image, but still this one is very well laid out, very striking. And I haven't actually even upscaled it because you can also upscale these images and make them a bit bigger. But overall, Prompt Magic version 3 with Alchemy is a pretty powerful combination. And here's something to consider when you are making your images in Leonardo AI. At the moment, I'm still just using Stable Diffusion 2.1, which doesn't really have a ton associated with it in regards to the styling. Things like Dream Shape of version 7 are probably going to be the easiest way to get really stunning results. So again, I switched to Dream Shape of version 7 and it's not photorealistic, but it is very clean, very crisp looking AI generated image and something that has a really unique and very cool style to it. But if this is not the style you're after, when you have Alchemy turned on, head to this drop down here and try something that you think will work better for what you're after, such as photography. And it doesn't look quite photographic, but it still is a very cool and artistic image. So overall, I think it does a great job. However, it does seem that Alchemy tends to want to, Alchemy and Prop Magic 3 do tend to want to create more cartoony looking images, sort of like uh, 3D renders. But uh, I'm sure with a bit of work, you can find your way around it. I'd probably need to spend a bit more time working that out. But again, let's test this out a bit further. The face of a grizzled, tired businessman staring at you. Let's see what results we get by switching through some of these models. So using the Dream Shaper model and also photography and alchemy, this is the result we get, which is I think a pretty awesome picture and it does have a bit of realism to it, but also kind of has that little bit of an artistic feel to it where it doesn't quite look real, but it has all the right features. So overall, Alchemy did a great job with this image. Switching to dynamic, and we get something a little bit different again. We get the same kind of person, maybe looking a little younger, a little bit more 3D rendered. And overall, it's a little less dynamic in the way that it actually produces the uh, layout of the image, despite the fact it's called dynamic, but still does a great job. The detail in the hair looks really cool. Turn off prompt magic, and this, the image you get is a little bit different again. So you can actually kind of influence the style you're after by playing with these settings and getting used to what you can expect style-wise from your prompt, but also just experimenting and seeing what comes out the side. When I switch back to SDXL, so Stable Diffusion XL 0.9, and I have Leonardo's style added, what we get is different and more of an art style. It's still pretty cool, uh, but uh, not really what I was after. However, this might be what you're after when prompting. So we get something different again, but if I turn off Leonardo style and just use the raw Stable Diffusion XL, we still get some cool images. Now, what's funny is this one looks more photorealistic. However, some of the elements are a little bit too neat and patterned to look like a photo. So I don't know how it's able to look more like a photo, but less like a photo at the same time to some of the previous ones. The same with this one. Everything is just a little bit too patterned in the beard, but overall, it's a tremendous leap, especially if you go back nine months, what we were doing with AI art was nothing compared to what we're getting today. Now, if you actually have enough tokens here, I've got a, a decent account here. You can actually go in and simply hit a bunch of generations all at once. So let's say I want to test this out a bit. I could type a prompt like this, like a futuristic temple, lifelike, Star Wars inspired in the middle of the city turn on alchemy and set things up the way I want to. I can hit generate. I can then just switch models again. So I can turn off dynamic and go to environment, hit generate again. I can turn off alchemy and I can just continue to line up a bunch of jobs that uh, and just wait for them all to finish. I can change the prompt, such as a natural meadow with waterfalls and northern lights in the sky. And I can just continue to try from there. I can add alchemy, prompt magic, generate. I can add and stack a bunch of these things off, walk back, come back in 10 minutes and have all the images ready. So to give you an idea of what I've been able to produce just then, this was our futuristic temple made using alchemy. So with alchemy turned on, this is the same again, except we switch from the uh, dynamic uh, style to the environment style and produce something a bit better. So alchemy is very flexible for creating a whole bunch of different types of images. Again, the waterfall, the Northern Lights, this all does look pretty good. But the second you add prompt magic, it's a completely 
different beast of image. It's actually really detailed and the layout is very enticing and very grabbing to the eye. But let's say we want to do something a bit more with this image. This image is 1152 by 767 pixels. So if I want to actually take this image a bit further, what I can do is first of all, I can completely regenerate it if I want to by increasing the resolution over here. But I don't want to do that because that can affect the layout. But what if I want to add a little bit more around it? One thing I can do is unzoom. You can see it's added a bit more information around that image, but also increases the resolution. And it's now 1440 pixels wide. And then if I decide that's enough, I can also upscale. There's a creative upscale, which doesn't do a bad job, but the Alchemy Smooth or Alchemy De Crisp upscales tend to do the best. I really like Alchemy Smooth because it still has a lot of detail, but tends to have a lot of smoother edges. So I'm gonna hit that and see what results we get upscaling this image. So now our image is 2880 pixels wide. So it's a pretty decent sized image and it has still got a ton of detail and this is using the Alchemy Upscaler. So uh, if you wanna check out, I've also done a comparison of the Alchemy Upscaler versus a Creative Upscaler, again, in my Alchemy video. So check that out if you want a bit more info. But overall, it's a pretty cool feature, but there's still more to play with. If I come down, let's say I would like to cut out this image. I can actually come down and I can do an upscale if I want to, but what I can do also is remove the background, which is another really handy feature of Leonardo AI. So when I click that, it uses AI to clean up the background. And we'll test this out, considering there's lots of hair in there. Let's have a go and see how it turns out. Now you can see it's cut out some of the wrong areas, so it uh, was a little bit, little bit messy on that one, but perhaps something with a simpler background would be more successful, like our businessman here cut out that background and that's been a bit more successful. The background was a little bit simpler. There was less hair to contend with. So whilst, while it's not perfect, the AI background remover is still a pretty handy tool if you want to explore that as well. But don't forget, even with Alchemy turned off, Leonardo AI is actually still a very, very powerful image generator. Even just using Stable Diffusion 1.5 or once again, Dream Shaper 7 and we turn off prompt magic leave everything as it is, you can still get some pretty stunning images, such as if we try the natural meadow or an old warrior's face with an aggressive stare, you still get some pretty great images. So even using Leonardo AI for free has a lot of benefits. While it's not as good as the premium features, and you know, they probably shouldn't be considering they're premium features, the images it produces are still very clean and decent resolution to play with for an AI art generator and well worth playing with. So definitely have a bit of a play with those new AI art sort of uh, models like Stable Diffusion XL09 or Alchemy, Prompt Magic. I definitely recommend having a play, comparing and seeing what you think. And um, remember, you can get an Alchemy trial for free. So check that out. I'll pop a link in the description below, below to Leonardo AI if you haven't played with it yet. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.